Okay, some snatch tips with the kettlebell. I've been asked a few questions lately, and I'll try to explain it in English uh, as best as I can. Firstly, I'll start just from the top insertion. Try to get, I don't know if you can see this, the hand all the way in here on the opposite side and then let it go in an angle about 45 degrees so that you have connection here here at the base of the hand here on the bone because then all the weight goes down here and it's supported all the way and it goes down in the arm so when you raise it overhead there is no gap here, no here, and you hold your hand like this, so that it's not bent too far, it's not like this, it's more like neutral and relaxed. And when you reach the top, so as it's not like this hanging, from your hand where you leave a lot of pressure here and like this it's not stable not stable at all so it will bounce when you go like this it will be hard to fixate so therefore if we can reach this position and not twist the arm just keep it in a straight line and the weight goes down here all the way through and we're strong and stop it here and we don't have to try to push the arm back because this leaves us now I'm pressuring here and I'm some squeezing and I'm reaching stop here by the ear and the chin and just relax, try to get your shoulder to just like sink down. Okay, that is the, the basic for the hand overhead. When I go down, I never throw it like this. because the belly is heavy enough as it is when you compete so any extra force to get it to go down it's heavier down here you have to catch so it's just like a release now I'm locked in and I just just let it go just let it drop like so a little bit on the side I change it and I catch it down here here I try to grip it like this where you see the thumb is over my finger here and it just hangs in the front that is because I go like this down if you go like this I would suggest you hold a little further back but also like this. And when the bell comes down, I release here and let it fall, let it fall, and I twist it. And on the way up, I'm here. And as soon as my, as soon as the bell passes my knees, I try to make it twist, so that it follows. If you can see, it goes from this angle, and I follow it. And when it comes and reaches here, it's about this, and it just slides in here. So I try to never let the bell go over and hit my forearm. I try to make it go 
here and it's almost weightless and just around and into here. So it goes more in an angle around the hand and stops here and I stop it, I try to stop it here, not let it go too far. If it goes too far, you use much force and you get pressure here and it won't last long. So again, there you have the drop and I twist it. And then you have the pulling phase from here. I almost have straight legs in the pull phase. So I'm just leaning back. And the more I lean back, the more force. And you can see I don't let the bell go too far back and I'm standing almost straight. I don't go like this because it will cost me energy here to go like this. So I only go with a light bell. I only need to go like this. That is enough. And it's this motion that I'm stretching back and stretching forward and trying to make myself become longer here and then I make the arch the drop like so and I'm pulling back and I'm catching the bell and I'm going forward because the weight is coming down I have to move with it so like this and for me this at least is the best if I can move like this over the bell if I go like this and I then I have half my body weight with the bell so when I'm trying to give it a pull I can only pull with my upper body when I go like this when I then pull, I pull my whole body back, my legs and my upper body. So it pulls back and of course that gives an acceleration and the bell flies easier. So if you go like this, you only pull with this muscle and it's not that effective. So we go down, we twist. And we stretch and then up again. So I start with the swing and I twist my arm. Here it goes up. And you can see I'm relaxed here and I just let the bell fall. So what I try not to do is like this. You can already see much more motion. The more I move, the more energy I spend, the more power I lose. So, and if I get the timing right, I drop it, that is enough. Just like this, and just like that. So, and then you have that I'm moving a little bit of weight 
from my feet. And I see a lot of people going like this because they and then they punch down and it's out of sync. It should be like here you are. That was my leg. Relaxed. Relaxed. So it's not like up and then down. You have to get the timing there. Okay. Make sense? This is the 12 kilo with a 24. It's the same movement. It's just a heavier bell. So you just a little bit more, a little bit more. But here you have the swing, the acceleration. And I'm standing tall and the bell flies higher. And I twist it. And it lands off. And it's not like this and, and I'm relaxed. I'm here. I put my weight on my opposite leg and just lean back. I lean back my whole body. So it's not like this. Also, when heavier bell, with light bell I don't need to break the fall any. With heavier bell, I'm kind of like catch it a little bit before. This you just have to practice and practice and practice. When you drop it like this and you twist it and you just like catch it a little bit and you break it a little bit slower here and then you're into the groove again. Uh, they're very difficult to catch. But here I catch it. Just as the belt goes and I twist it and I get the grip already here and I just like follow it slowly and then I'm into the, the game again. I hope that makes sense. And then you have Kalle. Again, the grip. So, you punch in here like so. So that it goes all the way in here. And if you have a gap here, you need to get more of an angle. And you need to get your hand all the way in here, like so. Here. No gap, it's resting here, here, here. Many points, so that the bell doesn't weigh that much. And this is a stop, like so. Not like this, because the bell is over your head. N not like this, or you're trying to force it. <sighs> Neutral. Okay, hope that makes sense.